Kyle Shanahan. Where are we at with Kyle Shanahan? Because I see everybody's on the chat. Stop giving Shanahan excuses. Stop giving them excuses. Well, nobody's been harder on Shanahan at this station than yours truly. That's a fact. I've been very hard on Shanahan. I came away Friday night saying, this guy has grown up. I respect what he said at that podium. Now, a lot of people can say he's lying. There's empty statements. I thought he went through everything. I was I was impressed with Shanahan. That's just me. And I've been the harshest critic of Kyle Shanahan. Now, people are saying, stop making excuses. Here's, here's one thing I do know for sure. This roster is still stacked. Mm-hmm. The expectations are still the same. Mm-hmm. Bosa is going to be back by week one for Pittsburgh. I guarantee that. It's going to be a big, big bag for Nick Bosa. Trust me. It's going to be a massive deal. He will be back. All right? Are you, pre- going- are you predicting? Oh, or are I'm you- predicting, and I'm guaranteeing it. Or are you it. reporting? I'm guaranteeing it. You can, okay. you can classify it any way you want to. Right. I'm guaranteeing Nick Bosa will that, be on then. that field in Pittsburgh week All right. number one. All right? All right? He's going to be there. Okay. And his defense is going to be stacked. And his offense is going to be loaded. And expectations, expectations do not change the fact that a football team I root for can whiff that badly on a quarterback, number three overall, and still be in his position, I think it speaks highly of John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan yeah. and Adam Peters and his organization, to still be in a position to contend for big stakes despite missing on a number three overall pick, despite missing on McGlitchie, despite missing on Sullivan Thomas, despite missing on yeah. Ruben Foster. This team is still loaded and ready to win. How can you not be happy about that? No, of course you're happy. But if they start off one and seven, all of those same things. Right. Will, no, I know, I know. I'm just saying Come hypothetically. Because no, but but Bonte, part of why we feel so good is because they're 23 and 11 since drafting Trey Lance. And if you look at those two drafts, hasn't been a lot of fruit bared off those off those drafts. They still found a way to to find playmakers, right? Whether that's through trades, free agency, you know. And and so they have to just keep winning. And I'm with you on that one. Like they, as long as they keep winning. Doesn't matter. As long as they re-sign Nick Bosa, I think a lot of things won't matter. Like, no one's going to care about Trey Lance if they're 7-1, and one, right, leading the division, heading into November, right? Are you? I'm, I don't care right now. I've already moved on. Personally, I'm the biggest Trey Lance fan. I've moved on. I've moved on. It's done. Trade is done. He's gone in Dallas. They cut their losses. It wasn't going to work out here. We could all sense it wasn't going to work out yeah, here. And, and let me tell it's you, pretty and, and everybody was going crazy over the Raider game, the first preseason game. That game was huge for Trey to start that game. And for him, he didn't even look like an NFL quarterback in that game. He didn't. First three possessions, you go three and out. Last three possessions, you damn near throw two picks. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. He needs reps. He needs to play. He's not going to get the reps here. I don't even know if he's going to get the reps in Dallas. You heard from Jerry Jones. Yeah, he's not in the plans for this year. He's in the plans for maybe 2024. Poor young man's not even going to play. But you know what? For the 49ers, you move on. You believe in Darnold. You sign him for a reason. You got Brock. You said Brock's the leader of the clubhouse. I'm with that. Let's roll. Mike in Fremont, what's happening? Hello? What's up, Mike? Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, I called last week and said I, I would rather have Trey Lance over Dak Prescott, and I got my wish. <laughs> uh, but like you said, I don't think he's going to play this year. Uh, but I think it's going to light a fire under Dak to play better and take take control of the team a, a lot better than he has been the past uh, recent years. Right. So I see a lot of. So is that was that a Cowboy fan? I, I, I guess I don't, I'm just going to keep it moving. What did you think of him I, going just, to the Cowboys? Yeah. I thought at first, at first, I was like, man, this is great for both parties to move on, Trey and the Niners. Uh-huh. And then I thought for Trey, I said, this is Dallas. They have Cooper Rush, who helped stabilize their season a, se- he won a year games, ago. Yeah. And you got Dak there for $40 million. Where's the reps coming from? To this, me, but Trey Lance is closer to being out the league than he is to being in the league. And that's where the CFL comes into play. <laughs> that's where he just needs to play. He's not going to play in Dallas. Where How is he going to get better? He doesn't have any options. I mean, he's got to accept what he's got to accept. And I don't know. I, I First, like the Cowboys? The Cowboys of all teams? So a little surprising. Honestly, it was surprising to me. And then... Then I took a step back and I was like, look, if he does want to, you know, tutor under someone like you're talking about right. Zach Wilson being able to tutor under Aaron Rodgers and how he looks a little better. I do think actually he can learn a lot from Dak right. on the side. And I, 
as much as I make fun of Mike McCarthy, I do think his system right. can work for Trey Lance. Right. Uh, like in terms of getting better, I'm just saying. Right. Get better. I don't even know if he could ever even Dude, be a number two at this point. You know, the worst part is about the deal was you don't you don't even know if Trey is good or not. Well, that's I mean that's the disappointing part yeah, of like you not knowing. don't even know well, I what think, he is. I think I think right now he's not very good. Right. What could he be? I guess is the question. But you know, I mean, a lot of people have been fired because of a bunch of potential and draft picks that never right. hit fruition. So, you know, like when I was thinking like Joey Bart, right? Like because right. a lot of people compare Wiseman and Bart. Like Joey Bart, I don't think is that good, right? No. And I, I not that I've seen a whole lot. What? Wiseman may be good. Maybe I don't we don't know. I don't we know. don't know. But, but I, he's another guy I think I put into a more of the Trey Lance bucket of needs to play, very raw. You know, I think right. the system matters. I, mean, I really do think the system matters for Wiseman. But like Joey Bart, I think we saw enough. He's just not good enough. Now maybe he's he has not. a resurgence down the line. I just don't think he's good enough. Trey Looks Lance. Like, like a more finished product. Yeah. The, the Trey Lance part, I think the biggest frustration is the woulda, coulda, shouldas. Yeah, that that's me in hindsight. I just wish he would have got that start in Detroit week one, 2021. We've just gave, given the keys to him in 2021. Now, a lot of people say, man, you had the Green Bay win in a playoff game. You had the great win in a wild card game in Dallas. You had the great NFC championship game where you lost to the Rams by three points. I would trade all that for an opportunity to see what Trey Lance could have done in the Niners uniform. But we'll not see it no more. We'll not see it. I trade all those memories, all those fun times we had. Just and I trade him just to know what uh, Trey Lance could have been. And if he would have been people, bad. I wonder how many people agree with you on yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 